Well, Reg and Luke have handed me the keys to the Kawasaki KLR650 because they said they didn't want to get off the bitumen and get themselves dirty. Pretty boys, unbelievable. Anyway, new for 2014 on the KLR650 is a brand new seat. Now, it's a little bit wider at the back and a little bit narrower at the front and a little bit more cushioning in it for those longer rides. It certainly is a comfortable seat. Also new is the front forks. The changes include stiffer springs, increased oil height and revised dampening settings. And also new for 2014 is the rear suspension. Now for the changes to the rear shock is it's again got a stiffer spring in it and it has a stronger reband dampening. Now these upgrades will assist with your handling as well as being able to load it up for those longer trips. Now that's about all that's new for the 2014 KLR 650. I wanna set you now I've put 200 k's on it today, some of it bitumen riding, some of it gravel riding. I found it to be unbelievable. Through the traffic, you certainly have to change your gears a little bit more, but that's when it comes into its element out here on the dirt. And we're not talking single trail riding. All we did today was a little bit of gravel riding on fire roads. It certainly was muddy and slippery today. It handled a lot better than I thought. When the bike did start to slide on me, I found that it was quite easy to control it and bring it back, and that's testament to the suspension and also the chassis on this bike. It's quite easy to steer around. It's heavy compared to what I'm used to riding on dirt bikes, but it's light compared to an adventure bike. With this new seat, you can actually grip with your knees in the bike and, and hold the bike in a straight line. It's, it's quite good. It's not super torquey, like it's not going to pull your arms off, which is a good thing because it's a learner bike. First gear is quite short, second gear is short too. But you change the third and fourth, and especially in these sort of fire trail roads, and it starts to really take to its own. And it'll sit on 80, 90 k's along the bush here, no worries. On the road, when it was doing 100 k's an hour, I still found that it was revving at about four and a half thousand revs. Now, I wouldn't change the sprockets if I was commuting to and from town with this bike. It's perfect for that really easy to get in between cars if you want to very easy to turn very easy to you know tip over and turn around the corners it really does all of that real well this thing will run forever and a day it has a 22 litre tank that is massive the other good thing about this is Kawasaki do sell a lot of accessories like panniers for the back the side and even the tank so you can really load it up and go adventure riding on this thing like true adventure riding. Now some of the changes that I might make to a bike like this, being a dirt bike rider, straight away I'd take the muffler off it and put probably a performance one on it. Other than that, I don't think I'd change anything. It's, it does what it does, you know, it gets you around it. It's good fun, really good fun. My final thoughts on the Kawasaki KLR650 is it looks good, it's bulletproof, it's learner approved, you can load it up and go long distance riding with it. It's well price pointed, it sort of ticks nearly every box. It's certainly a good bike and Kawasaki's not getting it back anytime soon because I'm hitting the trails with it. For all your motorcycle insurance needs, visit swaninsurance.com.au